Hi guys, I want to show you the current state and progress of the SWD flasher based on the ESP32. So I have a very simple schematic build up here. We have the ESP32 which is connected to ground here, there, to an NRF52840 dongle and it has the SWD clock and data connected and also you can see this SYN wire here which is connected to the DEC1 pin of the NRF and that is used to glitch the yeah, NRF to read out the flash content even if it's locked and here we have one cable which is used to connect to an oscilloscope to see when to glitch and I made quite a few progress the last days and the ESP is now connected via Wi-Fi to, yeah, to the internet, to the uh, network and supplies an, a web server with some functionality. For once we have here on top the the glitcher part where we can enable and disable the glitcher and yeah set the needed delay to yeah glitch it correctly we have also the SWD section where we can just yeah make some basic commands and so on so if we would now click on init SWD we can see here that it reads the yeah CPU ID of the um, NRF. This is done via the ESP directly. If we read the lock state, we can see if the NRF is locked or unlocked. We can set the lock bit, which will now write to the UCIR register. And if we now read again the lock state, we see that the NRF is locked. And yeah, to show that it is locked, I um, would try to read out the CPU ID from the NRF or the model ID, which is this. And if I read this, yeah, it only reads zero back from it. And if I now erase the NRF, it will enable again the, yeah, the the flash axis and so on. So if uh, we for once read the lock state, we can see that it is unlocked. And if we read the register, the fitting one, if I wrote it correct, yeah. So maybe a zero is needed. So now we can see the model is read correctly from the register. And to show that it really writes and reads to the yeah, registers and memory. We can also write to the GPIO register and enable the output of the GPIO 6 with its uh, um, green LED on the NRF. And if I write this to the register, we can see that the green LED turned on as it now is an output and is low and the LED is connected to VDD. And we can also reset the NRF. We should then see the LED turning off again. And yeah, now again we can read from it. What we can also do is write to the memory. So if we, for example, read the address zero from the NRF, we see that it is all FFFF as we erased it currently. And if I now would um, write to the flash and then read it again we can th see that it is now 3 as set here on top. If we now take the address 4 for example the next, uh, it's the next word it should be FFFF again and we write another value to it like this then read it again. We can see that the register is now one, two, three, blah, 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 and so on. If we reset the NRF, we can see 
or even if we power it off via the yeah, VDD supplied from the ESP, this will turn off the power to the NRF or turn it on again. And yeah, then we need to initialize SVD or SWD again and read the register um, again. We can see it's really yeah, written to flash and not to RAM or anything like that. So yeah, if we now erase the NRF again, we can read the register again and it is yeah, just FFF again. So yeah, this is working quite nicely and the Arduino firmware is not too big or not too complicated and it can be well, yeah, uh, well um, made better to yeah, make a real flashing web flasher for the NRF to yeah, also maybe glitch it and so on. So to that, if we now set the lock bit again and read it again, we can see it is locked and I could now enable the glitcher and this will then try yeah, to read, uh, to, to glitch it and then to read the lock bit as fast as possible. As you can see here, it will try all kinds of delays and how long the glitch is running or the, yeah power and down and yeah it's quite silent and if it's successful it will then yeah prevent or it will then supply an open SWD connection to work on okay have a great day